Okay, so we're gonna get a little damage assessment here on my ride. My yak, yak. Got a boo boo. Oh man, look at that. Two, three, four fingers. Right there, that's where I guess, I guess that's where it landed back on the hot coals, I guess, because it really wasn't burned, it was just melted. Hey y'all. <clears throat> so we get a little damage uh, assessment here on my ride. Whoops. Okay, so we got that right there. files and just kind of kept working these edges all the way around and got a nice rounded finish to it. My next step I'll be trying to put the patch in, heat it up, get it up to temp, get my patch ready. I just got just a little bit more touch up right inside there. It really doesn't take much with these rest files but I've cleaned that all the way up. Nice rounded edges. Ready for a patch. So yeah, there was a little burn damage right here and little crispy edges right up along there. So I just took all that down. That rest file right there just took it all the little crispy edges back down to the, you know, good plastic. A little bit of crispy right there. And I'm good plastic right here. All right. So uh, what I'm doing here is I've uh, got my uh, lip down here. Um, Cleaned off, you can see it's pretty flat. I've just worked and worked and a little melting, melting, and I work it, work it back this way. It finally got me a nice smooth surface like all the way around. We've got our patch heating up in the uh, microwave. My trusty assistant. Toaster oven. Uh, or the toaster oven, and my uh, assistant there is keeping an eye on that for me. And I'm just kind of keeping this warm, getting it warm. You have to pay mind to Keep an eye on the temperature of these other surfaces also because they will tend to get hot and I think maybe you could probably even put um, <clears throat> some kind of insulation in there. But that's where we're at now. Okay folks, so a um, wonderful chef Janice cooked my patch in the toaster oven as you see right there on some parchment paper and come right over here you can see this place patched look like perfectly it's very easy to mold even right now I can push it up into the corners a little bit really gently just kind of make those edges really come down I can I can feather the edges up under this parchment paper right with the parchment paper on it sand it off afterwards it should be looking like a good patch I've never done it before so I'm not sure what to even to expect at this point so that's where we're at ciao so where we're at here is what I'm noticing. I didn't want to pull this parchment paper off because it's still a little tacky to the parchment paper. And uh, I found that if I did that, I may have caused a slight little hole right here, which I think I can really, I could put some more plastic in that, it'll be fine. But as it cools, it's letting go on its own. It's almost like 95% let go right there. So I'm thinking when it falls off, I'm just gonna give it a little while longer, just be patient with it and watch it. See what I need to do afterwards. So. Um, Okay, parchment paper fell off all by itself. So now we're looking at a really nice patch. I don't know if you can get a close up of it or if you guys can see it good enough. This is what happened when I tried to kind of gently pull the paper off by itself. It created a little bubble. I can fill that in with some extra of material, heat it back up. But right now I'm going to let it all cool down the edges. You can see right around the edges, they all molded nicely very tight mold all the way around these edges where I heated up the boat and the patch and applied the patch and let it cool by itself with the parchment paper and the parchment paper kind of helped it to maintain a form so dual purpose like I said I've never done it before it looks like a good technique maybe somebody can use it I don't know but my hole was that big so so far so good so Right now I got my uh, rest file out again. Chew 
chewing down these borders here. We're just going to chew these borders down until they get pretty close to the surface of the existing kayak, and then I can come back and fine tune it with some maybe some rough sandpaper might do it. I'm not sure if I'll have to get a little grinder out, but I'm going to kind of blend it in just a little bit. So, not rocket science. Okay, so I think this is gonna, I'm gonna call this my finished product. Um, I didn't get this on video, but what I did is went around with that heat gun, reheated this up and just kind of went down and made a real nice bead all the way around, all the way around this patch. So it's absolute 100% contact all the way around. And the hole that I had here some excess uh, material, just heated that up, spaded that in. Uh, it's not pretty, but I think a decal and um, decal over a battle wound is just totally appropriate and cool. Thanks, y'all. Peace.